And there we go. Suddenly on part 12. Time goes fast, so... Open the game, and we are going to be making some awesome stuff this time. We're gonna add HP to the Zeppelins, make them smoke when they're damaged, and um, a little score, a little score counter. Um, yeah, so let's get started. First of all, we need a smoke texture. Uh, Jobing, smoke.png. And we're just gonna drop it inside the textures folder. We're gonna work with that a little later, but for now, let's make the score uh, counter. First of all, we need a global value. We could have made it local, but for um, to make this a little easier, we're just gonna make a global value. This is just an example game. We're gonna make some really awesome games later. But uh, for now, global values. The next thing is to add a function that adds score easily. So, add score n. Score equals score plus n. So we will add uh, the given number to the score. Actually, I'm gonna make it even fa fancier and make sure that it's a number. Then we want to draw this, the score on the screen, of course. So, well, we have to do that over all the entities and everything. It's gonna be a heads-up display. And the color of the text should be graphics set color. A dark kind of gray, so 25 and 255 on alpha, of course. Love graphics paint. I know uh, print. I don't know if you, we've used it before, but um, this actually displays text on the screen very easily. You just simply write the text in the first argument, so score and the number of score, comma, x position, y position, rotation, um, and the scale, of course, one and one. And I believe the score should be displayed right now. Yeah, there we have the score. Maybe in the next tutorial we'll move it to the middle and such. Maybe add a little castle to the right or a base. So uh, we would get a point of killing these things and lose some score uh, when they reached the other end of the screen, maybe. Well, just a thought. Comment in the comment on the video if you have some suggestions how to continue this game. Um we want to be able to to take some damage on the zeppelins. So we need a health, a health counter, and a, and instead of just killing the zeppelins instantly, we want to damage it. So open the um, entities.lua and uh, scroll down a bit till you reach the bottom, where we have the shoot function. Uh, instead of end fall, we're gonna do end damage and two. It's just a number that I chose. Nothing special or fancy about it. X and it is .lua. We're done there as far as I remember. And open sep.lua. Here we're gonna do a lot of changes. First of all, I was silly enough to put these uh, values in the set position function. That's probably because I thought it was the load function, but it was not, so let's take those away and put them in the load function. Also, cut the set position function down under here. That's just because I prefer the load function on the on the uh, top of the script. We're also going to add uh, some other values, like uh, self health equals 10, and self max health equals 10, uh, or self health. Self smokes should be the table that stores the smokes, and self image underscore smoke is the image of the smoke that we just added, the, the smoke cloud. So let's just copy paste that function and change it to smoke.png. We're done with that and we're gonna move down to the bottom of the script and uh, make a function to, to make a smoke cloud, a little smoke cloud. Function and smoke should be table insert self smokes and the time that the cloud should uh, stay cloudy <laughs> and not die out 
x position self x, y position equals self y, and it's gonna be a nested table inside a table. And that's as easy as that. I don't think we need anything else on, on that function. We then need a uh, a function you maybe saw in when we uh, edited the the shoot uh, function in the entities file. We used a function called end damage, which we're going to define right now. N. So it's going to damage a number of damage with n. So if n is less than c uh, zero, there's no use in running this function, or if it's falling because it's already dead, then return end. We're not going to do anything. But if not, then make a small cloud. Self health equals self uh, health minus n. Add score because we managed to shoot it. It's very impressive. Self health minus no uh, less than or equal to zero. And let's just remember to put the end there. Self health equals zero. Make it fall. And add score. Uh, maybe three. That sounds legit. Uh, we also want to draw the cloud, uh, the smoke uh, dots. So 4k smoke in pairs self smokes do. Local scale, I like to call it. Smoke time divided by three. So this will give us a value between zero and one. Love graphics set color uh, 255 and we want it to die out so let's make the alpha slowly uh, descend from 255 uh, yes that should be correct and love graphics draw self image smoke smoke x smoke y no angle, of course. Uh, we want to scale it the same size as the Zeppelin. And, uh, of course, no offsets. We also want to, do, uh, to ascend a little when it uh, slowly dies out. So, 1 minus s inverted uh, s value times 64. That should slowly ascend the dot of smoke 64 units over three seconds. Okay. We also want it to think. The smoke has to think a little since it is actually going to die out slowly. So 4k smoke in pairs. Just copy paste this whole thing actually. For ease of uh, typing and to preserve our fingertips. <laughs> we do this I just copy pasted the, the for loop to the update function. Smoke time equals smoke time minus the delta time. So it will it will basically be in a clock that counts down. If smoke time is less or equal to zero, then um, table remove self smokes and the smoke that is about to die out. Let's see how this turned out. Hope there's no bugs. Okay, good. It's working. Yeah, I like it. Notice the score is counting up and everything. I guess we'll stop here and continue in the next tutorial. So see you then. Remember, comment, subscribe and like. Goodbye.